Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I've got some Torchlight 2 here for you. A game I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I've been a very big fan of Torchlight 1. And currently Torchlight 2 is in beta and I've been granted access, which is of course amazing. And it will be released this summer. There's no, uh, no exact date when I was recording this video. And you can already pre-purchase it on Steam. So go and do that if you are interested in this game. And as with any game that I'm covering, I will first show you guys the customization. If you are looking for specific class and gender, time codes below so you don't have to see everything. As well as pets, you can customize your pets a little bit, which is, well, pretty amazing. Because you, there's a lot of pets available compared to Torchlight 1. So, let's get right into it, I should say. Also, I will play this entire game fully as a let's play on the highest quality possible. And I will do this with a friend, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But I will start that when this game is live. Because right now it's in beta, so everything can be changed as we go along. So let's just start with the Ember Mage. Basically, the typical mage. And as you can see, a lot of faces available. There's only a face... And a skin color, you can't really separate the two of them. So, pretty much everything that is that you can customize has been dumped down. And you just have to go with what fits the best. Apparently there's only one hairstyle or no hair available for the Ember Mage. But you do have some color choices, which is always nice. Moving on to the female. Female most likely has a little bit more options, as you can see. Typical faces, nothing too special. You can't really change the eye color, which is too bad. Because if I really hate it when I dislike a hair color. No typical or strange hairdos. Pretty much short hair. Nothing special. A lot of hair colors available. Pretty much the same as the male version. Nothing too special around, around there as well. Berserker, which is the class I am most likely will be playing when this game goes live. Basically, all the faces that the Berserker has are crazy faces, which makes sense because the Berserker is an enraged badass that you don't want to meet in a alley. And as you can see, a little bit more hair than the male Ember Mage has. Pretty spiky, pretty... Well, pretty and creepy hair, if you like, or wild hair, because the Berserker is a wild person. Some very neat hair colors available here as well. Pretty much the same as any class I am seeing right now. And this is pretty much most likely my character right there. But let's move on to the female berserker. Let's see if the faces are a little bit different. But it looks like it's pretty much the same faces as the female ember mage. So the customization right now is not looking really big. It's pretty much... Very simplified to say the least, which on one side is a very good thing, but also on the other side it annoys players like me because I, I'd rather have a very big customization feature available to me instead of these dumbed down ones because sometimes I can't really choose a face because there's a scar in the way or whatever. Moving on to the engineer, which most likely is going to be my second character. And as you can see, these are a little bit different, a little bit more thinner, also a little bit more sophisticated, I believe. Also, the hairdos fit the engineer a lot better because of the goggles and such. Also, a monocle for the female. Really awesome to see that, but I prefer the goggles myself. Hair colors are pretty much the same as well. So the female engineer looks pretty awesome. Really cool to see that. Let's see if the male engineer... Well, definitely the male engineer looks a lot more sophisticated. Has a moustache, sideburns, or no hair at all, as you can see. So really awesome to see that. Let's see what the hairdos have to offer. Either bald with goggles or hair with goggles by the looks of it. Really cool. And pretty much the same hair colors as well. But it also colors your moustache, so that's quite neat. Because you don't want to have a different color moustache than... The color of your hair, of course. Moving on to the last class, the Outlander, which of course is the ranged character with the pistols, as you can see already. Let's see what kind of faces the Outlander has to offer. 
pretty much the same deal. You can't also not you can't turn around your character, which is never a good thing. But it's pretty much straightforward. At least the hairdos are a little bit different. At least you have this bandana thing and the spiky hair, which is I suppose is the signature hairdo of the Outlander. You can change the color of your hair and the bandana. Not separate again, which is unfortunate because once again it can really annoy players like me. And let's see what the female version of the Outlander has to offer. Pretty much the same face once again. There's a lot of same faces. So a lot of copy paste there. The hairdos are definitely different. This one has curls, which is uh, something new. But I prefer this one, personally. And pretty much the same hair colors, as well as a combination of hair colors with color bandanas. So I suppose they are separately available, you just have to scroll through them. But once you are done making your character, as you can see, you can pretty much make your character's name, click OK, and then you get an interesting thing. You can actually choose a pet. There are eight pets available right now. I have no clue if they will increase the amount of pets or the amount of customization available. Because right now you can just pretty much change the skin of your pets. There, that's the only thing that will happen. And some pets don't even have a different skin as the bulldog. But the cat obviously has different skins. This little dragon chakoori, if I pronounce it correctly, I have no clue if that's in fact the case. It pretty much just recolors. This little dog has no other skins available. Of course the famous ferret with the goggles. No different skins available unfortunately. The hawk, if you prefer some flying animals. So a lot of different colors available. And of course my obvious choice, without a doubt, the wolf. And I'll most likely go with the Grey Wolf. Is it a Grey Wolf? Looks like it. And this is pretty much it. Of course, calling it Luna. And that's pretty much it. Once you have done this, you can pretty much go into the game and call it a day. If there's anything you want to see in this game specifically, let me know and I will hunt it down to the best of my abilities. As well as I will show you guys some gameplay and some other good stuff before the Let's Play will start. And that will happen when this game goes live. So I hope to see you guys there, and let me know what you think about this game and what you think about the customization. I personally think it's really dumbed down, and I hope they will increase the customization options, or at least give more different hairdos for both male and female. Because as you can see at the male Ember Mage, there's only one hairdo available or no hair at all, which is kind of unfortunate, but... I guess you can't really do anything about it because I am not the designer. So let me know in the comments what you think and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date or follow the links below. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.